Hey guys, what's up, A Gamer? Today I'm just gonna be going over this again because um, I accidentally made this video and published it without sound, so it's just a very easy way to farm the Deathworm Queen without um, using any supplies really. So this little Rex here is gonna be actually a baby, and so this Mega Serum at this point. They can walk through the um, barrier that the flyers can't, which I think uh, I'll run back here just so you guys know. Okay, then I'll run forward. So th there is a barrier here for flyers, but it's not here for other dinos. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to bring these forward. And you have to have them at baby. But since it's single player, I can just do this. A lot easier than uh, trying to get an egg and stuff. So there we go. Now I'm going to have this little guy follow me. Hint, sometimes the whistling works better than anything else. So he got stuck. I can whistle right at my feet here. And I'll whistle right through there. We gotta go for a certain spot to be able to get through. And I think the Rex went too high in the Mega Serum. Oh. There we Nope, they both. Um, almost. Let's try whistling right over there. See if we can even turn to go through it. Try up here, I guess. And then wait for him to move over and whistle that way. Okay. Well, he is going to need to back off and come back in. Yeah, this seems like the right spot, actually. He should be getting through right there. Um, try that. Maybe it's a little too big. Whistle right over there and have him come back again. Okay, I need to get this Rex. He needs to go through right here. That's the spot he needs to go through. But he keeps like going around it. Okay, so I guess whistle him back again. Then whistle him to right there. That's right where I need him to be. Now whistle him through. And they're stuck on each other. There we go, there's the Rex. Okay. Now since I got the Rex in here, I'm just gonna lead um shoot. I need to I'm gonna whistle down there with him. There we go, and he should be able to walk right through almost anywhere in there. Yep, there we go. Okay, they're in. Oh, wait. Oh, that's cute. The saddles are still on them. I didn't notice that until just now. Okay, so when I shrink them, the, sh the little saddles shrink on them. That's so cute. Okay, well, um... Hmm. 
just need to get these guys down here. So this one, I actually need to grow up and then put in God. Because, um, normally I'd have to leave this through and watch out for death forms the whole way, but I don't want to have to do that. So instead I'm just going to got it and cheat on this one. I'm going to leave the Mega Serum on normal though, just so we can see a comparison. But yeah, I don't want to have to keep spawning in Rexes since I messed up somewhere. Mega Serum I know won't die though. I'm also going to do the add experience thing just so I can simulate one of these that are leveled up all the way. Fence stats just to get this thing a, a health up again. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Now, one more time to get it off the fence stats. Okay, so this should be everything I need to do to get through the video. Hopefully. Okay, so Rex is just gonna follow me through the whole cave, and then when we get to the end, we're gonna use it to beat the um, Ice Worm Queen. So there is a trick to get it into the Ice Queen Queen's room, which I'll have to show you when I get there. Um, because it cannot just walk into the Ice Worm thing. There's a barrier. Which is a pretty easy fix. Just need to know how to get past it. So I can't even get the make serum through right here. We're gonna have to set the baby age again. Which is weird because I know I could get through here earlier. Anyways. Oh, I know why this Rex is having such a hard time following. Okay, there we go. And when he gets to me, I'll grow him up. Okay, so I think I can grow him up right there and be able to actually get where I need him. Yep. Okay, so um, real quick, I'm gonna infant stat him again just to get him healed. Do the moth skin. And, um, I need to do add experience. This will make it where it simulates him being leveled because it'll be just the levels. I could get him. Okay, so I found the command. Add a whole bunch of nines so I get all the levels I need. And there, 71 level up. So I'm gonna put um, a couple in the health, just get them up there. And then the rest in the melee since they won't have time to heal. Sorry, so you can hear my mouth. Okay. I'll be doing the same thing with the Rex when I get down there. So this works, this, um, also works well if you looked at my previous video it's on how to get flyers in here and if you have the two of these together they could work to make it where you can absolutely farm this cave without any problem um and if you watched a video on how before that it was a while back I showed you um how to get mega serums in here which you can just see from this video but they work amazing for killing all those things in here that video I had everything turned to six times difficulty so this one will be a lot better reference for how well they are to run the cave compared to that video because I got completely wrecked in that one 
And as you can see, there we go. Now, I was already down health, but it only took three hits. And same way, pretty much unofficial. I think it takes um, four with a kibble tame official. And that wasn't leveled. So here we go. Here's another little um, spot that death won't spawn. They like to ambush you right here. But he's stuck. Hmm. There he comes. Okay. So you can get everywhere through here. To get pat over this, you just have to go off to the... Um, oops. Whoa. Okay, you have to go off to the side right there and walk up like I was doing. But, yeah, you can get everywhere inside this cave with this um, Mega Serum. Which makes it good for any cave. The Rex would not fit through most of the stuff as an adult. So that's why you have to walk them through here. The juvenile, I believe it's the... I don't, I don't think juvenile can fit under these crystals. Like this one and up ahead I'll show you another one. So, okay. Um... I'm using the right click attack because it does a lot more damage and it has an AoE compared to a bigger AoE compared to just that. So more damage plus it can hit more than one death form. Just smarter choice. So after this video, I might look into um, finding you guys an easier way to do the Lava Golem. I think I have an idea for that, but I'm just going to try and do a tutorial on each boss. So, well, not boss, uh, dungeon, I guess. Boss in the dungeon. Well. So most of this thing is just going to be boring walking through the thing, but on official you're going to have to make sure that some, you have two people, one to watch after the um, baby, maybe it's a good shotgun, and then you and your Mega Serum leading the way. As you can see though, they die really easy, but if they hit your baby Rex, it'd be over. And there is <laughs> loot crates in here, these are nice, but they did kind of nerf them, so not as good as they used to be, but yeah. Still, it's an easy thing to farm loot, so why not? Come on. So, um, the main reason you're probably going to do this is to get the artifact um, that's down in the bottom of the cave. Not quite sure which one that is, but it'll be labeled on the front of the video. So you guys will actually know, but I won't. Well, don't. Um, so I'm just trying to find any way to fill this time that it takes to get this thing down here. Oh, and the good news is uh, this thing eats meat too. So you can force it to heal. As you can see, my food, my uh, health going up when I eat this. Man, it has food when it's down here. So you don't, this thing won't need uh, food brought down to it. It can eat berries or meat, but you know, down here you're going to be using meat. And you can also use this to feed um, your Pteranodon and your Rex that you're going to have down here. The Pteranodon is good because you can fly back up and go back through the cave rather than going out the bottom and leaving your Megatherium at the end of the cave where you would have to run through the whole cave to get to it. Not fun. It's better if you can just um, go down there, beat the boss, fly back up and you know get everything ready for, for, so you can run it again. Uh, there we go. Oh, and another thing is, this is an amazing way of farming um, some resources. You can get black pearls down here, death worm horns, and um, 
Black Pearl, Death of Horns, Angler Gel, a little bit of organic polymer, hide, chitin, meat. You do get a lot of prime, but there's no practical way to cook it down here, unfortunately. As you can see, I max slotted some prime already. But, um, unless you pulled maybe a quitzel up to the, the um, barrier ab above, you can't really harvest any of this and, and use it, unfortunately. But you get a ton of it. If you guys could find a way to exploit that, that'd be amazing. Oh, you could use, um, salt and then make it last a lot longer in, in your inventory. And have like a speed character that just runs back and forth, um, cooking it. That'd work. So as you can see, we're almost through this, um, boring part of the cave. This is the spot I don't think a juvenile rex will fit through. A small rex will, but not a juvenile. Okay, right here you want to take a left, because the right is just an, leads back to another entrance. And a few, I think two, sometimes, no. There can be like five death forms that way. Usually only two, though. So right up here is where we're gonna, where we're gonna have to park to make Ethereum, and that's what makes it where you're gonna want a flyer in here to fly back up. Okay, we're on our way. There's the warfall. That's the far right there at that warfall is the farthest we're going to make Ethereum without it being unable to come back because it's a little drop off. So um come on. Very impatient, sorry. I'll try to make these videos as quick as possible so I don't waste people's time. Okay, so park to make a serum here. Whistle the Rex. Now this whole area down below is um, safe, so you can do whatever you want down there. Um, in terms of raising, I'm gonna grow them up right here just so I can oh walk them. Never mind. And as you can see, he instantly healed because he was on uh, God and Infant stats. So. I have to fix that before I bring him into the boss fight. A dungeon fight, whatever. Okay, so here we go. He's adult. Here's where you, he would be raised, just kind of down right here. There's a drop back there, but what you want to do is um have like one, maybe two of these. I'd recommend two, but I think one will work for beating the boss. And you're just gonna. It doesn't take much um, health, so I'll just do 8,000 health and then leave it and do the rest in the melee. This will make it where, you ha where it actually is quick because you want to farm it and not sit there for a little while. There we go. And um, there is some barriers up here, so when you're flying, you're going to have to watch that little video. You have to stay like a certain spot in here or you won't be able to get up with the flyer. Same with the Rex, so you kind of have to work around this little crystal. And I think they're actually running on the barrier, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm actually running into a barrier with that. I know I can get past here, though. There we go. So, I don't know if I'm going to take damage from this fall, but I'm on god mode, so I won't know. Okay, I'm going to do god off. And infinite stats off. Okay. So to get him out, you're just going to have to go to the left right here, and he'll come right out. But as you can see, there's a barrier that you cannot get past. This kind of sucks because, well, you can't get past that. The only way to get past is to hop off, which you can't really do during a boss fight, and run him forward like this. And he's, he's out. He's good. He cannot cr cross back through that barrier or anything like that. But the only problem is, you first time, you're going to have to have someone set off the boss fight, or you are stuck here. So, I'm just going to do it myself, because you you need to be off the dino when you first go down. And I can't do that. So, you have to go up and down to get a flyer through here, and then right up to center right here. I'll 
show if you guys watched my other video, you know how to get a flyer in here already. And there we go, it's calculating the number of challengers. I'm just gonna walk, get back over to my Rex, and fight the boss. So normally what you would do is just fly up into the air for this part of the battle and watch your Rexes kill them. But since I don't have a flyer, I'm actually just gonna take part in the fight. So as you can um, tell, it doesn't do that much damage. That's why you don't really need a whole bunch of health. But your melee is what's pumping. Is what you want to be able to pump out. And this is in KV, so you can see the amount of damage I do. As you can see, a little bit of blood on him already. You can see the little lines. Um, and he does do a little bit of knockback. You know, so I just got separated from him. I'm biting him, but I'm not actually hitting him. There we go, now I'm hitting him again. Uh, so two Rexes might be advisable, and don't get separated like I did. I mean, I sat over here, and I don't think I was hitting him half of that battle, because I was over here, and I thought I was hitting him. But I don't think I was, so... Yeah, and then all your little loot crates spawn in and stuff. And he'll get his food to heal. Yeah, two Rexes would make it a lot better, and maybe not primitive saddles. Okay, guys, so, um, like and subscribe, tell me what you want to see next, and, oh, yeah, um, artifact is back there. So, if so you just keep going through that barrier, you can get to the artifact, and let's ch take a look at what artifact that is. Real quick. Let's kind of walk the Rex right here. Hop off. And you actually have to beat the Deathworm Queen to get to the artifact, because there would be a barrier right here. So here we go, right back here, and voila. So here, oh, yeah, I think I got artifact of the pack. Cool. So now that there's an arf now you guys would have your artifact, and a scary giga would be there. And okay. Oh, like and subscribe, and um, tell me what you guys want to see next. I'm going to be working on how to get the Lava Golem be easier, because it's just hard to get to and hard to really kill, so I'll be looking at a way to do that a lot easier. Okay, guys, well, I'll talk to you guys later.